is October 16th, 2024. Oh my God. Yesterday, I had to have an ultrasound done on my heart. Years ago, when I was on those crappy medicines that made me sick, that made me swell up, many heart attacks, um, brain swelling, I once killed me from those crack pots, okay? Well, I was in the cardiac ward several times. Um, calcium blockers and nitro pills. Um, the doctors probably shouldn't have took me off the heart meds. They had told me um, the other day at the doctor when, because I got bit by a dog, uh, you know, going through everything. You don't have lung cancer. You, your pancreas, your liver is fine. You have two tiny little kidney stones. Um, but we need to talk. The blood vessel from your lungs to your heart is only pulling like 50%. Okay? So I had to have an ultrasound yesterday. Yesterday, down in uh, Dover, I went down there so I could get my ultrasound done. Some guy and lady went to get on the elevator after I sat down. What are these people doing? The guy that did this to her already confessed. The one they hired. November 18th, 22. Eric, one of the one in stalkers from the Maslin police. All the tapes before were me and not her. It was my idea to come up with it. My idea to do it. My idea to say it. For all these people turn on her and they found for it. <laughs> if it was only you, I could take care of it. I know it's that bad. And they still fell for it. Okay. ID is Eric, November 24th, 22. Um, Mercy Medical Emergency Room nurse talking to a lady can officer. Uh, we all heard that Eric make fun of us for falling for this. Okay. Uh, nobody should say a word to her again. I said, well, you know, the agent that bullied her into saying she was lying when she wasn't. They were talking about him. Okay. All the cops know that Agent John told on me. Alright. I'm gonna leave some idiots are talking. That girl's a walking time bomb. Shut up. You know, I don't even know if they're gonna put me back on meds or if they wanna go wanna do surgery. I have enough to deal with. And by the way, FBI Agent John. Like they said about three or four weeks ago on a Wednesday, you did know Strange Pete planned us out since 03, right? When he thought I caught Tim and Katie together, that I, he ordered me to be killed or destroyed. And nobody was to say a word or do anything until Dave said he wanted a divorce. That's what took him 15 years. Okay. Now, Sheriff David, Mike DeWine's cousin, I was uh, talking to him about Pete and Michelle. He said, well, you know, Pete had to rape Michelle since she was young. For her to find it funny that those men were hurting you and have them do it to you, Pete had to rape her since she was young. He made her evil. That agent would know that. The one they made a fool of, June 7th, 23, FBI agent John fell for the stun and tapes before. Oh, come on now. That FBI agent actually fell for it. It was only a stunt. You're kidding. Oh, come on. John actually fell for it. You mean FBI agent John actually fell for the stun and tapes before? <laughs> Is that why they got away with it? Yell out his name, title, and cackle at him. And the Star County Sheriff's have their confession. They made a fool out of him. They sell it to children, by the way. A couple months ago in Belden, little girls were like, they, uh, there was a video of them making fun of Will. He are public fool, honey. By the way, March to May of 19, I was at the family church. I had to take classes to work in the bookstore. Okay? I walk out, I have a dress on heels. I have my books and a pen and there's this guy five ten to six foot tall 
225 to 250. Okay. White with full black beard, black hair swoop back, a really super expensive dress uh, suit on, and a tan overcoat. Okay. And it's very expensive. He's telling people, I'm actually Karen's will. I drop, almost dropped my books. The pen hit the floor. I, now my hip was out of place. So, and I had heels on. I just put one foot slightly forward, bent down, picked up my pen and looked up and he was gone in the crowd. Now, FBI agent John, are you Middle Eastern descent? Or was that one of the main pimps? And for all this. You did know you let them bash somebody's skull in that had heart problems. Rape and torture, human traffic, somebody that their heart don't pull enough blood. They could have killed me. You know, that was on the news a couple of months ago. The despicable act of some law enforcement feeding women and children back to the drug dealers to get the drug dealers. I have a friend out of state that has a friend in the FBI office. He said, what do you mean that agent tried to tell her she couldn't say anything? He doesn't have enough authority. He's only a police officer. Hmm? It takes a judge. First Amendment, just like the prosecutor's office, police departments, criminal attorney. Okay? And they got him on a recorder line admitting to telling on her. And talking to her like that, they got him. And every case comes with money and immunity. One agent writes up the order, okay, with the informant protected custody case. Money and immunity comes with both. They have to take it to a judge. A judge has to sign it. They have to subpoena the government to get put the money into the account. And when the money comes in, two agents have to both verify he handed it to her. There has to be at least two stealing in that office for them to get away with this. Just like at a bank, where I worked in a bank, it was dual control. Like they said, even an agent had said he didn't have the authority. So the prosecutor's office, police, and criminal attorney, he was only bullying you. And he can't talk to you like that. Badgery laws, Department of Justice 1729. You have to take a victim, a witness, or an informant statement, if you believe them or not. Follow through. Otherwise, it's badgering, obstruction, justice, tampering with evidence, and tampering with witnesses. And you're accessory to those crimes and held for any damage that happens to that victim. I'm going to go ahead and upload this.